Hello friends, so as you may be aware that YouTube has recently updated their layout and design and introduced a rounded corners to your thumbnails. I kind of like it, it's fine, it looks nice, but uh, what it does, it's if you have thinner lined frames like I do, you're running into a trouble where your edges just get cut in into the frame. And I have a solution for that, although it's not essentially a problem if you have a thicker frame. So if we go to my one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels, Studio Binder, they usually have a quite thick frame. And you can see that in their case, it's not really a problem because they have a very thick frame. But at the same time, you can see that the middle parts or the inside of that frame doesn't confirm to the contours of the new radius type of ra rounded corners that uh, YouTube is trying to push with their new uh, thumbnail look. And you can see from my latest thumbnail that I have achieved it uh, fairly fine. There is a few nuances when you make it to make sure that you accommodate for all different sizes of thumbnails because while a lot of people don't understand that YouTube resizes the thumbnails based on where you're viewing them in what uh, type of window or view, but it's fairly easy to achieve in Photoshop. And if we go down there now, you see now my finished result. Uh, that's what the finished frame looks like when you upload it to YouTube to have a nicely rounded frame. And we will start from scratch actually, because I thought that it's not enough just to show what my existing frame is. I know it's quite difficult when you do it first time and if you haven't done it many times. So I'll show you how to do the rounded frame from absolute zero. So here you go, my project. I'm just gonna close off the older one. And you can see this is a 4K canvas size. So we begin with drawing a rectangle. And in order to do that, I'll just take a new layer and place it just above my background. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. We make sure that fill is set to none. and pick the desired stroke color and thickness. In my case, because of the canvas size, it's 80 pixels. And I also change the select type alignment to the top option, which makes sure that your selection is at the edges of the rectangle that you're manipulating. and now just dragging out to the corners of your canvas. And again, in my case, it, we select the radius. If you scroll down, you will see that you can select the radius. I select 180 pixels for my size. You might need to play about to get the radius perfect for your frame. Just because of the new YouTube layout and the fact that it has multiple views in multiple places, the actual frame changes a little bit or the roundness is changing a little bit. So to accommodate for any extra changes, what I do is I fill in those corners with the same solid color as the frame. And so in order to do that, you have to hold command or control uh, if you're using Windows machine and click on the layer that the rectangle is. What I've done now is I've selected the entirety of the rectangle, externally at least. And what we want is we want inverse selection. So if you go to your select option and then go to inverse and you have selected your corners, all you have to do now is to create an empty layer because you want to fill something with these corners and also it's good to have an element that you can reuse in the future. So I just used paint bucket and I'm sure there are better and easier ways how to do this, but this is just my brute improvised way that, well, it works for me. So why not, you know? And after you filled in all your corners, you selected deselect, it still has this tiny weird line for some reason uh, in between your square and the edges that you just filled in. But since you deselected it and you just go over one more time with a bucket and that's pretty much it. Once you have selected and painted all your corners and have the inner parts rounded off, 
that's all there is pretty much yeah so for now <laughs> that's how i overcome this problem i hope this helped you and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye